Hi and welcome to my new video. In this video I will be showing you all of my collection. I will go in through all of my enclosures one by one and I will show you all of the animals I keep here at the Omnia Savet Exotics. So I'm going to start off with my ball python, Python Regius. He's a male. He's a beautiful, gorgeous little boy. Luckily he's outside, normally he's inside, or he's in his cave. But, thanks, but thankfully now he's outside and we can have a good look at him. Okay, so on top of his enclosure I have three scorpions. So I'm going to show them next. So we are going to start off with this little enclosure. Underneath this cork bark, there should be a beautiful little scorpion. Let's see. Uh, there it is. Look at the beautiful scorpion. The species name is Stitius stigmurus, and this is a parthenogenic species, so she will reproduce without a male. So when she's grown up, I will have a lot of them. In this neck, in this enclosure next to her, <laughs> here's a mold, is exactly the same. So I won't be taking the time to show you that because it will look exactly the same as this one. Now in this enclosure, here is a different species of scorpion. This is also a parthenogenic uh, species of scorpion, but I forgot the scientific name. So unfortunately, I cannot tell you what it is. Look, it also has a little mold here. <laughs> okay, now let's try and find the scorpion. Okay, so we got the lid off. And now let's see if we can find the little scorpion. This one recently molted. So it's a little bit bigger. Ah, here it is. Look how beautiful it is. Gorgeous. So, well, that's that. So, I'm going to put this little girl back and let's go and see what other animals we have here. So, we are going to do a little time jump and we're back. So, I'm going to start with this row of spiders. I have to take them off so I can show them. So I'm going to start off with my Davis Pentaloris here. I can actually, I think I just can open her. Yeah, she's right here. Oh, yeah, they are flighty species, as you can see. So here's my little female. Her name is Furiana. They are gorgeous species. So this is a dwarf species. She won't get long of bigger than this. I think, yeah, beautiful species. So, next to her, we have my Pachysopelma bromelicoa. I have to go take this one down. <laughs> Try and see to see her. Hopefully, I didn't spook her too much. So, there, there she is. Can see her a little bit. Fortunately, she's she went down her cork bark. Now let's get on to the other ones. So next to her we have. I'm going to take these three species of specimens out. I'll be needing to take these down as well. Just give me a second. And we are back. So in this enclosure I have a Cantuscoria genicolata female. She's a little juvenile. Um, how can we get her out? I don't think I can get her out. Unfortunately. And there she is. Mm. Not that good of a view. 
Okay, let's go to the other one. Maybe that one is, that one is out. So, so here I have another Acanthoscuria geniculata female. Now, wait a minute. Let me open this first. There she is. There you can see her booty. <laughs> These are an am amazing species. The feeding response is off the charts. I love it. Maybe I can show you with it. Yeah, I'm going to show it. I'm going to feed this one a little one. Hold on, just a second. Okay, so I'm back. I got a little roach. And let's see her in action. Ooh, see? The response is amazing. There, there she has it. Amazing. Now let's go on to the other spider I have here. I'm going to put this girl away. Take this little girl out. So in this enclosure I have a Gramostola pulchra, also a female. She's a little, little female, a little fat female. <laughs> These species are gorgeous. That is my little girl, my little Gramostola pulchra. Now I'm going to put these girls back and go on to the next row. So I managed to get a little bit of view of this girl. So we'll add this to the other part. So you can at least see the whole spider. Now I'm going to show you the spiders in these four enclosures. I already opened them up so we can speed things up a little bit. So in the first one here is a Brachypelma mori sling. Gorgeous little girl or boy, I have no idea actually. Gorgeous species. So next to this one in this enclosure, I have an Aradum sling. Next to her or him, I have, I keep on saying that, I have another Aradum sling. With a little fat so. <laughs> I guess she should, I guess she needs to mold out soon. So in this enclosure next to this one, I have my Trixopelma pruriens. This one molted recently. Beautiful, gorgeous little species. A little, he's kept quite big, but this one is a little one. <laughs> so now let's get on to the next one. So now let's see what we got in these three enclosures. Now in here I have a juvenile uh, Brachypelm Hamori male. So this is what they look like when they are juvies. Beautiful, beautiful. Now next to this one, I got a male uh, Brachypelma Emilia. They are also very, very gorgeous. <laughs> I keep on saying it, but I just think they're all gorgeous. Yeah. So next to this one, I have a spider, I don't know if we are going to see it. Oh, I can see some legs down there already through the plastic. Uh, maybe we are lucky, I don't think so. This is my Ephobapus cyanognatus. Is it right? Yeah. 
the blue fang tarantula. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Um, unfortunately, these are so beautiful. I'm going to see if I can get some extra lighting. It's not going to work, unfortunately, I think. Yeah, unfortunately. So let's get on to the next ones. We're going to do a little time jump again. Okay, so in this enclosure, I have my Petzoteria rufolata and my Petzoteria trigonella wesley. And let's see if we can get a glimpse of them. They are quite skittish and terribly fast, so I'm not sure if I should be doing this. There it is. Unfortunately, I can only see his legs. Look at those beautiful colors. Amazing. Now let's try the other one. This one is hiding behind the scoreboard. Mm. Mm. It's time. Yeah, I'm going to leave this one alone. Maybe we can see it from the back. I don't want this one to run up my arm or anything. Nah. Uh, wait, maybe, maybe a little bit we can see. Okay, there it is. Perhaps I can show it to you. But I'm stressing it out too much, I guess, I think. Alright, so now we are going to this shelf. And now we'll show you all of the tarantulas I have on this shelf. So I'm going to start off with these two. Now let me get them. Little time jump. Okay, so in this enclosure, I have my Brachypelma Bume female. Her name is Valentina. She is a gorgeous specimen. <laughs> I really love the Brachypelma genus. They are very, very, very beautiful colorations. And they are also an amazing beginner species. Look at that beautiful girl. Well, okay now, in this enclosure next to her, she is still feeding, is my female Berchipel Maamori. Nothing special to see, you already saw two of those. <laughs> okay, now let's get on to the next two. Okay, so in these two enclosures, we'll start off with this one. This is my Formictopus Atrichomacta. <coughs> A trichomatis female. She is gorgeous, as you can see. Um, so as you can see, she has a burrow. She never uses it. She's always out and about. She needs to get a rehouse very soon. That's her new enclosure. I already made it. So there will be uh, coming up a. Um, there will be a rehousing video of it soon. <laughs> so I can't wait for that. Now next to her in this enclosure here. I'm not I'm not even going to open this one. This is my uh, Terraphosa Sturmi. Her is also a female. Her name is Athena. She's all the way back in her burrow, so there's no chance of seeing her, unfortunately. Um uh, yeah, so we are going to go on to the next two, I guess. Let me just put these back. Yeah, I figure out you don't want to see all of these movements every time, so I cut them out. 
so in this enclosure is my beautiful little cattle Vagans female. She's a sub adult. Maybe she, yeah, she's a sub adult. And she soon needs a rehouse, as you can see. She will soon get a rehouse. Don't know when. Um, it's a magnificent, beautiful girl. So in this enclosure next to her, unfortunately, she is not outside. Her legs are, but we can maybe see her th through here. There she is, ready for prey. Prey. This is this is a Talita cattle Kalambergi. She's also female. I got two males, so I'm going to pair these two up quite soon, I guess. At least try. Or at least this one. I have another Kalambergi of another Vagans. No wait, another Kalambergi female. Oh yeah, so this one has has to wait. I have another Kalambergi female. Oh she's going coming out. I have another Kalambergi female that I'm actually going to pair up with a male that I have. I will show you him in a second. Or a little bit further in the video, I guess. <laughs> Look, there she is. Gorgeous species. Beautiful black colorations. Mm, well, okay, so let's get on to the next two. So a little bit of a time jump again. Okay, so let's start with this enclosure. This is one of my bigger tarantulas. This is the Tilitocatl columbari female, the other one. This is the one that will be paired up with the adult male that I have. She is at the moment grooming. So she's actually cleaning her pedipalps. Cute to see. Some some tarantula maintenance. <laughs> Alright, so in this enclosure is another big female to little cattle LB Pelossum. Now I don't know which which one this is. Let me see. Uh, this is the Honduras form. I also have the Nicaraguay form. I'll show you her in a minute. Beautiful, beautiful spiders. So in this little enclosure here, I hope you can see it. Is a tiny juvenile. Uh, um, how are they called now? The Lasiociano Sazimai. Always hiding down here. <laughs> okay, let's get on to the next shelf. That is the shelf. I'll show you all of the tarantulas here. At least those that are out. I think I'm going to show you this one now. This is my... Um, what is this one? The Hilobrachis Discolos. Or the Vietnam Blue. So, yeah. So I'm going to show you all of these that I have up here. Now, let's get on into it. So this side will be hopefully easier to film. This is my uh, Nandu Carapuensis female. Beautiful little girl. I'm afraid if I open this, she will run inside. Yeah, unfortunately. And uh, next to her, I have three of these. These are the Harpoctera Cafreriana. Beautiful, gorgeous species. What if will happen if I open this? Yeah, she's going to freak out as well. So in this enclosure here and in this one are the same type. So it's quite useless to show those. I'll try to show them. They're hiding anyway. Um, so this is my Vietnam Blue. If I open hers, oh, she stays sit down. We have a beautiful view already, so it's not. Ah, oh, there she goes. Um, and this enclosure next to her, I have to show you this way, is my Gramostola pulcha. 
is also female. Most of the spiders I have are female, luckily. Mm. These are gorgeous little spiders. All right, now let's see these two next. Let's go. Uh, can show them through the plastic, maybe. So this is a uh, Nandu Tripepi. Um, wait, I'm going to get them off the shelf. Maybe that works. Hold on, yeah, I will be right back. Okay, so here she is, a beautiful young girl. I think she needs a rehouse when she molts again. Yeah, probably. But she's a happy spider, a hungry spider. <laughs> now let's get to the one that's beneath her. I'm going to get it. Hold on just a second. Oh, I unfortunately, unfortunately spooked her too much. So this is the Lasiodora pariabana. This is also a young female. So I have this one since she was a teeny tiny sling. And she's gaining real good size now. These are also very, very feisty eaters. All right, now let's get on to the next one. So in this gorgeous enclosure is my other Thalitha cattle albuplossum. This is the Nicaraguay form. Beautiful, beautiful species. Very, very fluffy. Right, so that was that. So those were all the tarantulas I keep on this shelf, on these shelves, or at least most of them. I didn't include these little ones here. If you want me to. Um, Tell me in the comments and I will make an extra little video about them. Uh, I will uh, add the species names of each and every one of, the, of these uh, in the description. So if you want to know which, which ones these are, check the description. Now let's move on to this side of the room. So we are going to start off with my Chromata Palma Siena Pabescens, the GBB, the Green Bottle Blue Tarantula. Hold on a second. Yeah, there. There she is. Beautiful species. Amazing. Those colorations are magical. So... That's her and her beautiful enclosure that she didn't wrap up all the way. Still not, unfortunately. I hope she does. So, beneath her, I have a uh, Nando Colorado Velosus, which is always in this corner here. So, I have to show you her this way. Beautiful, beautiful girl. And then, let's see who is next to them. Ooh, there she is. The big girl. My biggest, oh, she just went inside. The biggest spider I have in my collection at this moment. Um, this is the Terraphosa apophysis, female. Her name is Aphrodite. There she is all her glory amazing species so these glide bird eaters have amazing feeding responses and love to eat a lot and their growth rate is off the charts so well okay that was that now uh, next to her i have my nandu chromatis female 
somewhere. Yeah, she's always hiding in her oh, she, there in her tunnel. Let's see if I can turn around her enclosure and get a view of her. So I hope this works. She is magnificent. Oh, there she is. Look at how beautiful she is. Giant. She's a giant. So this is an adult female, I think. Yeah, I think she's an adult. Gorgeous. Very feisty when it comes to eating. I love it. I love the takedown she does. Now it's time to put her back the way she was and let's see what's next to her. So now we come to this enclosure. And this enclosure is my... Ah, she... She's visible when I zoom in. Nah. So in this enclosure is my... Uh, Asian forest scorpion, Heteromethrus selenus. selenus. Mm, maybe turn this light off. Turn on the black light there. You can see her pincers. She's a giant. Yeah, but don't worry. I have another one. That one should be. Uh, I should be able to show you that one. We are going to have to move to the table again. Okay, let's put the light back on. So in this enclosure I also have one. Oops. There it is. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful scorpion. So this is like a juvenile. He needs to get way more bigger. Or he will get way bigger than he is right here. Poor thing doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> so now let me just let me show you a little cool trick. That uh, works with all scorpions actually. Turn on a black light and they change into a fluorescent color. Or is it just that they reflect? I don't know. But they give off this bl beautiful bluish light. Amazing. So I'm going to put back his coconut and his uh, enclosure and go on to the last few enclosures we have we have left here. So yeah, be back in a second. Look at that little meanie. And also this one is in desperate need of a rehouse. It's way too big for the small enclosure. Okay, so we are down to the last four enclosures that I have upstairs. Now in this enclosure here is my little cattle Vagans male. His name is Dante. Gorgeous little boy. And well, next to him we have the little cattle Calambergi male. Can I open this up just now to get some of the view? There, that actually kind of works. There, so that's the Kallenberg male. So yeah, these two will be seen in a future pairing video. I hope. <laughs> I hope, I hope. Um, in this enclosure here, this is my Avocalaria Jurorensis. Uh, young little female. Wait, 
usual young little female and of course I spooked her and she went inside. Oh, should have known. Should have known. Look at those little tippy toes. <laughs> All right then. Um, and then this enclosure is a Psalmopeus Erminia, female. Now let me turn this around, maybe we can see her. Oh, she's actually at the entrance of her burrow, or a core bark. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's a lot of webbing in front of her. But I did manage to make a video of these two on a walkabout the other day, so check that video out if you didn't see it. So yeah, that was everything I have upstairs. Now we are going downstairs to see the rest of my collection. <laughs> yeah, so that is the Omnius of S Exotics room. Don't mind that little mess there. Those are old enclosures that I need to sort out and such. These are my feeding insects colony. These are the Dubia roaches. And here I have my Lateralis roaches and some super worms and this is empty <laughs> um, yeah so that was that all of these amazing creatures except for those little ones I'm sorry and my beautiful beautiful ball python who's still outside enjoying the heat <laughs> Okay, now it's time to go downstairs, so a little time jump, and I will see you in a second. So, in this beautiful enclosure uh -huh. is my um, um, Testudo horse fieldy, the Russian Porto tortoise. He's sleeping at the moment, but there he is. Mm, yeah. Now, I have next to him, this is a musk turtle, Madeline. Oh, are you serious? That's why. Why is the water so murky? Forgot to turn back the turn the filter bag on. But down there she is. Okay, and then finally we have in this beautiful little cage, beautiful little cage. In this cage, we have Deja. She's a cockatiel, female. Not very fond of anyone or anything. <laughs> and next to her, this this is the star of the show. This is Pikachu, aka Pika. Hmm. So this is a male cocktail, obviously. Hi. He's... So he's looking at the gate. He thinks I'm going to open it, but he has to wait a little longer because. I'm making a video at this moment. So those were all the animals downstairs. Also very sorry for the TV noise in the background, if you can hear it. I'm very sorry, forgot to turn off the TV. So yeah, I'm going back upstairs to end this video, I guess. All right, so we are back upstairs. Look at that beautiful flag. The Last Supper of Evil. And I totally forgot to show you all this. This is my little Christmas tree here at the Omnisic <laughs> Omnis FS Exotics. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please comment something, something so we can get into a little conversation. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. 
and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye!